Welcome back to another video on my T4, my 2.5 TDI, and we are going to carry on with the uh, diagnosing the misfire. So, if you uh, if you're new to the channel, there's a few other videos on here of uh, things that I've, steps I've taken to get to this stage, uh, trying to diagnose what's going on. So currently, we know the faults in cylinder two. Um, and the first thing I wanted to do was uh, today is to check the hydraulic tappets. So apparently you should only be able to get a feeler gauge um, underneath the t hydraulic tappet when the cams, when the cam lobes, you know, 180 degrees away from the hydraulic tappet, there should only be 0 0.1 mil of play. Uh, and as you can see in that hydraulic tappet there, there was way more than 0 0.1. So I know a few of these hydraulic tappets um, need replacing. However, the ones on cylinder two, where we've got the fault, both those hydraulic tappets seem fine. They're, they're solid, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, checking the lobes, um, checking for any knocking on the cam, uh, everything's fine. The uh, intake and the exhaust on the cams, the lobes look fine. Yeah, everything looks really good on them. Just general wear and tear on there, but you know, I think these, this cam's only done it hasn't done that many miles i mean it was all rebuilt at the top end seven years ago so i don't know it's, i haven't done many miles i mean if you go through look at my mot history it hasn't done many miles in the last seven years anyway let's carry on so next thing we want to set up top dead center tdc and first thing you need to do is get a 27 mil socket get it on the end of the crankshaft there so that you can rotate the engine and when you do rotate it it rotates in a clockwise direction so yeah nice and easy to do bit of a pain when you're on your own setting up tdc because you've got to keep getting up and checking going underneath moving it getting back up checking it's quite a long-winded process so i've sped it up a little bit here because it's just long but i know already i'm quite close to tdc already because I could tell by looking at the uh, camshaft and where the lobes are uh, over cylinder one, I could sort of like see what was going on. Um, the only thing is, is when you set up TDC, it's got to be set up on the compression stroke and um, for combustion, sorry, and not for exhaust. So on the intake, that's the cycle you want TDC. So I can see with the cam, that both lobes on piston one are pointing upwards so the valves aren't actually you know engaged so the valves are seated closed and the piston will be very near to the top so to get the fine adjustment um, this is where I now start using that little peak like a little peep hole um, there's a little bung at the top there just above the flywheel and you can sort of like look in there and uh, I will show you a little clip of that in a minute but you can get in there and there should be a little mark and the closer you get to it you know you can see the mark but it's quite it's quite hard to to see that mark especially when you've got 40 odd year old eyes like i have <laughs> yeah they're not great and of course the uh, the sun's going down quite quick at the moment so early nights so the spotlight will be out in a minute although it doesn't really look like it here but give it five minutes and it's going to be pitch black Right, so I was just having a look there in the, uh, I was just having a look there in the oil and I noticed a few little specks and yeah, wait till the end of the video and I'll show you what I found, which is uh, devastating really. Well, I don't know, it's debatable whether it's devastating or not, but yeah, it doesn't look good. So I'll show you that at the end, we'll have a little clip at the end there. Right, moving on, I'm going to show you exactly where the TDC mark is on the flywheel. Because I know this is now TDC, I can kind of see. Um, there's also a mark on the diesel pump, on the pulley, on that wheel there. Uh, I'll show you them, because, well, I'll say I'll show you them. It depends on whether I can get the camera in there, which I'm sure I will be able to. Yeah, just making some final checks, looking in there, going, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Happy days. 
Right, let's have a look at this flywheel. So, right, we can see here, piston one. The first piston is always the closest to where the timing belt is. So that's the first piston. Both lobes were pointing up, so neither of those uh, valves were engaged. You can see down here, right at the back there, through that little like peephole. Everyone likes a good old peephole. Hey. Well, it's a bit hard to see, but there is actually like a centre pop mark on there. I don't know how well you can see that. It's uh, yeah, it's not great, is it? Right, so I can get a better angle. There, you see, you can see it. Yeah, you can see that centre pop mark there. So that's how we know we're TDC there. And then there's also a mark on the pump. Um, let me just show you if we can get round. It's quite hard to show you, but it's on the inside of the flywheel on the um, the pulley. Sorry, on the on the pump, you can see that little notch just above the actual belt itself to the right there there's um yeah a little notch and that notch indicates you know the timing um, and if you look across on the other side of the bracket to the left they're well opposite to the left of where that notch is the other side of the belt on the actual housing of the pump there will also be sort of like a, a ridge like a raised kind of bit of cast metal and that, you know as long as it but the thing is with the the fuel pump the diesel pump it may not line up exactly because fine timing is done within the fuel pump itself so yeah but i know it's it's got to be close enough because the markings there for the diesel pump you can see that there just pointing it out we we've seen the center pop on the flywheel um both valves are up over piston one so that's it happy days we are tdc Right, so before I leave you, um, uh, before I show you what I found in the engine, uh, make sure you leave some comments below of what you think could be the cause of this, uh, of this finding. Um, but until then, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share the video if there's anyone that you know is doing some work on their van and they need to set up TDC. Nice little uh, little video for them, nice and easy to do. And yeah, look, this is what we got. You see that? That's inside. There's loads of little, loads of them, loads of little balls. And it's uh, it's very, it's very gritty as well. See so why I can explain it. It's it feels metallic. It's something's worn away, and I don't know. I'm not. I'm not holding my breath. So what do you guys reckon? Piston rings? Mm, very suspect, isn't it? All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Wish me luck. And God bless.